So to do that, I'm going to demo with um, just making an infinite cone first. So if you actually start typing infinite cone, you can actually see here, um, right here, you can actually uh, construct an infinite cone or cylinder. So let's do an infinite cone. Whoop. So we need a point. Let's make the apex 0, 0, 0. We'll make the vector say, I don't know. Um, let's go, let's do the vector 0, 0, 1. Right, so think pointing straight up, and we'll angle it at pi over 4, or 45 degrees. See what I mean? Now, if I made it pi over 3, it'd be, like, think of, like, going out 60 degrees from the positive z-axis, if that makes sense. Or 2, or whatever, like, 2 is too much, because that cone just collapses, but let's just do pi over 4. Okay, so there you go. All right, now, so uh, let's actually make a plane now. We'll go to the tools. We'll do a plane through three points. All right. One, two, three. There we go. So we're going to make one of the conic sections here. Okay. So there we go. We have it. And so now we'll go ahead and use the intersect surfaces command. It's right under basic tools. Highlight that. And then just go ahead and go to, ah, see how it's like move the mouse near there. It wants to plot it. And there you go. So there it is. Okay. So now, um, Make sure you turn on, turn off that tool by hitting the move arrow. So now we can actually move that plane around and see, gosh, we can see the intersection now. All right. So now I'm actually going to take this intersection. I'm going to change the color so it's easier to see and make it black. We'll reduce the opacity and we'll change the thickness a little bit. See what I mean? So there it is. Okay. So now how do I project that hyperbola onto the XY plane? Well, let's actually make it elliptical first. Let me just move this up a little bit here. Move point A over. C. There we go. So there you go, right there. So there's an ellipse, right? Or right there. So now, what we want to do is actually put a point on it. So if I just go to more, I'm going to choose to put a point on that object. Okay. And we'll plot it right there. There it is. And now... If I'm going to project that onto the XY plane, right? It's almost like I want to look down. I'm trying to project this ellipse onto that gray XY plane there. So I can look at it this way with the view in front of tool. See the eye right there? See, I can actually just click here and then, whoa, it kind of takes me there. And that's what it's going to look like. Okay. Or let me turn that tool off. A much, much better way. Is to uh, is to do this. See how point D is a point on that cross section or on the intersection there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell George, but hey, you know what? I'm going to plot another point with whose x coordinate is the x coordinate of D, y coordinate is the y coordinate of D. But now let's make the z coordinate just zero. See how that's just going to project point D onto the x y plane. If that makes sense. So now. There's point E, right? So there it is right there. And now I could actually click on E and go to the three dots and show the trace so that as I move point D around, see how it's going to trace out like that. Whoa, there we go. You can see it being moved along there. See what I mean? Look at that. Just like that. Look at that. That's cool. Or um, if you zoom in and out, you can erase the trace. I think a much better way is to use the locust command. All right. Let's use the locust tool. The locust, right? We're going to choose locust point, then moving point. So right here, the locust point is point D, the point on that intersection. The moving point is E. Whoop. Check it out. Right now, why aren't you working? You were working before. Stinker. Uh, or maybe it's ED. Let's see. No. Oh. It's I did locus equation accidentally. It's just locus. Uh, so D, E. There it is. My bad. Um, there you go. Okay. So now, no matter how I take this, I've just projected this onto, I could turn the trace of E off here now. I 
the trace there. But see what I mean? There it is. That ellipse projected on the XY plane looks just like that. And in fact, now I can move anything else. See what I mean? Now I have it.